this is an apple you will also say ma'am this is an apple i will also say this is an apple if i ask everyone will say the meaning will be always same you cannot change the meaning if every what i will say what is apple everyone will say ma'am it is a fruit is it is a fruit it is a fruit nobody will say it is a it is a toy okay or it is a book nobody will say everyone will say it is a it is a fruit right so that is this is the meaning but when it comes to definition right when it comes to definition maybe i can define it like this according to sanya this is the sweetest fruit and this is of red color okay this is the definition according to me but maybe according to halima this is not that much sweet it is of red and green color you according to you you can define it okay and you can also add that, that this fruit is all like usually like we get this fruit usually in jammu and kashmir like this okay so definition can be different according to person but meaning will always remain same okay so in meaning when if someone will ask you what is the meaning of uh, this money you will say basically meaning is basic it is deferred payment sorry value the four point okay which you mentioned store of value measure of value right exchange okay you will be saying meaning but when it comes to definition there were two people right if you remember robertson and all the other one you remember no i think i wasn't there uh you were there but i guess that was your first class na that's why you missed just give me one minute i'll just share if i have the thing okay just a minute ha huh? yeah you remember this slide this the screen is not being shared okay 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 yeah is it visible now yes i can see your you sharing remember this no not this slide okay 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 don't worry i'll just explain it again okay maybe it was your first class so we quickly moved it or maybe you told me that ma'am i know so maybe we skipped it okay but i'll tell you see meaning is basically what is this meaning meaning is if someone will ask you what is the meaning you will definitely say money is anything this is the meaning okay or you if it is written what is meaning money you have to write this but if someone will ask you what is the definition of meaning sorry what is the definition of money sorry <laughs> so what you will write there are two authors one is robertson and other one is kent so according to robertson see according to you you can define money according to your need right it is not compulsory that whatever it is written you will be defining money according to you i'll be defining money according to me so when it will be written you will be defining it will be written like this according to halima money is anything which is this and this this and this according to sanya money is anything which is this and this this and this so there were two author one is robertson and one is kent so according to robertson money is anything which is widely accepted in payment for good so according to him money is always used for making payment or for example if you want to want to do business and if you want to remove the obligation you need money right so according to him this was money but according to kent money is anything which is commonly and generally accepted as medium of exchange or standard of value so these are the two definition you can write anything if you are right if you are good with robertson definition go for it if you are good with kent definition go for it okay okay so in meaning like we can give any explanation but in definition yeah. it should be according like to name it. yeah it should be according to robertson money is according to kent money is okay okay in first two according to is not there so is it like uh, necessary for according to or because this person said this is how it is yeah because definition is always given by someone okay i am defining it that means i am giving a definition definition is always given by a person and meaning is generally which is accepted so meaning you can yeah. write it anything but whenever it comes for definition you can write according to robertson because that person defined it so definition is being given by that person right yes this first word is money is what money does like that is also included no 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 just these are the see meaning you already have this one this is the meaning or for example if it is written versus what is money you can write this also but if it is mentioned definition then you can you have to write either for robertson or for kant from these two you can write only one which you think is easy which you can remember 
take a longer period of time, write that only. These are the two definitions. Go write only one definition. Okay. Okay. And I was saying I had some other doubt in like money supply that two meanings you gave me in which one I like studied. Mm -hmm. In those two meanings, I had some like problem in uh, two mm -hmm. different things meaning the same. Okay, okay. Just supply. write it. Yeah, then we'll come to that. Okay, just write this and once you're done, we'll come to, I'll just move the slide. Okay. Okay. Done. Okay. So now, yeah, what was your query? I want to know about money supply. Hmm. In this, like, in first one, it's a circulation in an economy. And the second one is held by the public. Hmm. So can you explain these two points? Okay, see, first definition is saying basically what I told you in the previous class, money supply refers to total stock of money in circulation. Circulation means, for example, just a minute. Okay, for example, this is person one, this is person two, and this is person three. Okay, this person is someone, this person is maid. Okay, and this person is teacher. Okay, so what happened? This person got salary. Okay, he got 100 rupees. Okay, he got salary. What he did, he paid his wife, oh, sorry, maid. He paid her 50 rupees. And this maid paid her children's fees and he gave 20 rupees to the teacher. So what was happening? Somebody's income, 
somebody's expenditure is somebody's income he was spending the money but this money was this person's income right similarly she was also spending her money in the tuition fees but for teacher this was the income right so what money is doing money is circulating basically from here to here here to here so money is circulating so that's why money supply refers to total stock of money in circulation in an economy so whatever money you have if i'll ask you what is the money like how much money is there in your economy what you will say you will calculate this you will calculate this you will calculate this you will add all the things right so basically money is supply refers to total stock of money and where money is not fixed maybe today you are have today have you have money but tomorrow you will be spending it right so it is circulating from you it will go to someone else from that person it will go to someone else like this at a given point of time okay clear first one yes so okay. how does this match with the second one yes yeah, see basically these are two different definition but meaning is same if it comes to basically see it is the volume of money or the amount of money held by public who are these person this is the public na these are the person these are the public so you can say money which is circulating in the economy or you can say money which is being held by the public if i'll ask you how, how much money you have you will be say i'll be calculating the money which is circulating from one person to another or you can say i'll be calculating the amount of money public have so you will add this is these the these, like these people are public so you will add 100 plus 50 plus 20 like this so this is the amount of money held by public at a point of time and where this public is it is in an economy it is called money supply so you can say whether the money which is circulating or you can say the money which is held by the public both are the same thing but as i told you you can go for only one defin one meaning so you can write it the meaning is same but the only difference is here it is mentioned circulation but here it is mentioned public okay clear now yes clear okay uh, any other query good halima this is what i expect from my student come up with the doubts if you are it's not like whatever i taught you i'm like okay ma'am okay ma'am okay ma'am no if you face any single doubt just come to me i feel happy whenever you come up with doubt i feel happy that at least you are studying because the person who is not studying he or she won't be getting any doubt the person who is studying they will be getting doubts and i'm very happy with that okay okay ma'am but did you yeah. how money supply helps an economist in their life i uh, see basically for example uh, i calculated the money supply okay i got to know that this person is getting 100 rupees but this person is only getting 20 rupees so i will plan my strategy I, as a economist i'll plan my strategy in such a way so that everyone get equal amount of money right so this is what money supply helps money supply basically don't help anyone money supply is just to know how much money is being there in the economy and this is for the comparison for example i'll say australia is very developed but as compared to uh, as compared to for example you say bangladesh or you can say china usa is very developed okay why because money supply is very good there everyone is earning okay everyone has good amount of money with them that's why america is developed but other countries are not that much developed okay so basically how came you know that america is developed and uh, this china and all that are not developed by this thing clear yes okay so if for example i'll ask you uh, this is the formula of money supply okay so i asked you halima how much money you have for example you had 10 currency okay 10 rupees note in your purse and 100 rupees in your bank and other deposit you have 2 rupees so basically you had this much of money okay but similarly when i asked to your brother how much money you have he had 50 rupees over here uh 50 rupees over here and 1 rupees over uh, or you can say 10 um, just say maybe 20 rupees over here okay so how much he had he had basically 120 rupees so he is more rich he is richer than you right so this is what i'll say your brother is more developed as compared to you because you have only 112 rupees and he had 120 rupees you must be wondering i have 100 rupees in my bank account but he has only 50 rupees but he had 50 and 20 greater than you na that's why he is more developed as compared to you so money supply just to give an idea who is more developed and who has more money this money supply formula is always used clear 
Yes. And you okay. check that answers in the last class. No, no, no. I'll be doing that because you have two day off now, tomorrow and day after tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. So I'll be submitting your report on Monday. So basically, maybe by tomorrow or maybe by Monday, you will be getting it through your counselor. Okay. Yes. There you yeah, gave I... one. There you gave yeah. one question in which we have to do this formula, hmm. like uh, currency demand deposit. They were written clearly. But some were not written clearly. So where do they fall in, like in other deposits or if they're even counted or not? Yeah, this was, yeah, this was the question, right? So basically here it is written demand deposit. See, demand deposit is over here. Okay, currency is over here and other deposit is also over here. But these three terms are not here. So you don't have to include these things. See, everything is written clearly. Currency, demand deposit, and other deposit. Everything is written clearly over here. Yes, it's like over there. Yeah, it was there, right? But these three terms, you I don't think these were included because in formula only three things were there. So no need to include. You have to only add these things, these three parts. Okay. Which three parts? Like. Uh... Currency, C, D, D, and O, D. Yeah, that's it. Just ignore all the other things. This is the major, you know, issue which student face. In my previous batch, I gave the question and what they did. They added this, but in other deposit, they included everything. Total deposit, post office, everything they included. But that is wrong. Over here, I've written the other deposit with RBI. So only this portion will be added in OD. Okay. Okay, so they don't have any other names. Yeah, yeah. Currency, demand deposit, and other deposits. Yeah, only these things. But when you will be doing the national income portion, there will be, there it will be included. Like one unit will be having the different name. So be ready for that. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now I hope you are done with this. Yes. Okay. So what we are doing, what we are going to do is, just a minute. Huh? Yeah, basically we are going to start now just draw, uh, from fresh page, just start where, yeah, from fresh, fresh page, just write banking. Okay, and then what we will be studying in banking first, we will be studying central and its function. Okay, and then we will study these terms. These are the terms, Halima, which we will be studying. Like what is bank of issue? What is government bank? What is banker's bank? What is pro uh, control of credit through bank rate? All these are terms which we will be studying. So just write it down. This is the syllabus. These are the things which we will be studying in this chapter. Okay, and after that, we will start. Yeah.
nên Okay, great. So now we will be quickly moving. Basically, I have a snap for you. Like I have taken this from uh, this from my book, which I want you to rotate, write it down. Basically, now first I'll uh, explain you a few things, then we'll start. Okay. Now the question is basically there is a difference. As I told you in the previous chapter as well, there is one bank, commercial bank. And one is central bank. Okay. So the commercial bank is basically the one which is common to people. Common to people means that you will be, uh, you can easily go there and you can deposit, you can take loans, you can, this is for common people. But central one is basically the head one. I told you, for example, this is a school. Okay. There are so many teachers, but the principal is the head. So, Principal is the head and there are so many teachers, right? So these are the commercial bank and this is the central bank, clear? So now we will be understanding the band, like difference between commercial bank and the central bank, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, is my screen visible? Yes, it's visible. Okay. Now coming to central bank. Central bank is the apex. Apex is basically the head. Okay. Apex meaning, the meaning of apex is head. So central bank is the apex body that controls, operates, regulates, and directs the entire banking and monetary structure of the country. So what you are going to write that central bank is the head. And what he is doing, he is controlling he is operating, he is regulating, and he is directing. What he is doing? He is controlling, he is operating, he is regulating, and he is directing. Whom he is directing? The entire banking and monetary structure of the country. So, what principal was doing? Principal was controlling, principal was operating, principal was regulating, and principal was directing. Whom? To all, to entire staff, right? Entire teacher staff of the school but here central bank is the apex body what he is doing he is controlling operating regulating and directing the entire banking and monetary structure of the country okay but now coming to commercial bank commercial bank is an institution which performs the function of accepting deposit granting loans and making investment with the objective of earning profit okay so basically okay what uh, just to give me one minute Okay, just don't write this. Okay, just write till here. Commercial bank is an institution which performs the function of accepting, depositing, granting loans and making investment. Till here, write it down. Okay, so see, if I'll ask you what central bank do, you will say central bank uh, is the apex institution and what he do, he control, operates, regulate, direct, who to whom? To the banking and monetary structure of the country. But if I'll ask you what commercial bank do, you will say commercial bank is the institution. What central bank? Central bank was the apex body. But commercial bank is an institution which performed the function of accepting, depositing, granting loan and making investment. So these are the functions of commercial bank. These are the function of central bank. So don't write this with the objective of earning profit. Okay, till here only investment, write it down. So first make a table and uh, I'll be explaining you one point. You will be writing one point like this. Okay. Okay. Now I'll make table with all these points. Yeah, just write this so meaning is two points. And then you can skip this as well. But if you want to write, you can. It's totally your choice. Whichever is suitable to you, whichever you think you can remember for a long period of time, write it like that. Okay.
finish. Okay, great. Now moving to second point. Okay, second point is it is the apex institution in the money market. Just give me one minute. Okay, so it is the apex institution in the money market. See, in the whole money market, he is the head. Okay, and here what you will write, it is a unit. You will skip this merely part. You will say it is a unit of banking structure. It is the head and it is a unit. For example, you have a book. There are different units, right? The book is the big part and units are the sub, sub parts of book, right? So you will write over here, it is the apex institution in money market, but over here you will write, it is a unit in the banking structure of the country and operates under the control of central bank. See, listen to it very carefully, Halima, then write it. Okay, I'll give you time, don't worry. What you will write, you will write, it is the apex institution in the money market, but here you will write, it is a unit in the banking structure of the country and this commercial bank operates under central bank. This is the apex, but this commercial bank operates under whom? It operates under central bank. Okay. So you can write it is the apex institution in the money market and you can say it is a unit in the banking structure of a country and this commercial bank operates under central bank. Clear? Yeah. Clear. Okay. Write it down. Same point. I'm just repeating, okay, you can skip. It is merely, you can skip. You can write it as a unit in the banking structure of the country and it operates under control of central bank or you can write it operates under central bank. Okay. Done. Okay, so now quickly moving to the third one, which is ownership. It is generally owned and governed by the government. Who is the owner of central bank? Only owned and governed. Owned is basically for whom it belongs to and governed is basically who is ruling over there. Okay, for example, I have a property. Okay, and I have given that property in rent. I have given it to someone who is living there. So basically that property is owned by me. But who is governing that property? That person who is living there. Okay. But what happened in central bank? These are generally owned and governed by the government. Okay. And commercial bank, it can be owned and governed by the government or the private. Private sector can also have the commercial bank and the government sector. So it can be governed by both the government as well as private. But central bank are always governed by only the government. Okay. Okay. Okay, write it down.
finish. Okay, great. Now moving to next, which is basically the objective. See, central bank it operates in public interest without profit motive. See, don't write this. What you will write? You will write it aims to maximize profit, and over here you will write it do not aims to maximize profit. Okay, here see, central bank is always government bank. So there is no need to profit. There is he don't think about profit. But commercial bank always think about profit. So what you will write? You will write commercial bank aims to maximize profit, and over here you will write it does not aims to maximize profit. Okay. Okay. then finished okay now quickly moving to next basically it has the sole monopoly in the issue of currency okay and here it has no power to issue the currency here you can write it has power to issue currency it has power it has no power to issue currency only central bank has the power to issue currency no other bank can issue currency so what you will write it has no power to issue currency it has power to issue currency okay okay Done. Okay. Now quickly moving to next. 
it does not deal directly with people it deals directly with people as i told you commercial bank is for common people so you can directly go to commercial bank and you can ask like i want to deposit i want to withdraw but central bank will never deal with public directly so this bank deals directly with people or public but central bank does not deals with directly with people okay Finish. Okay, good. Now moving to next. See, there is only one central bank. As I told you, na in the whole school there is only one principal, but lots of teachers. So there is only one central bank in a country. Just write it till here. And there are number of commercial bank in a country. And in next point, you will write. For example, RBI in India. Okay, he RBI is the Reserve Bank of India. Okay, and. Over here, you can write, for example, State Bank of India, which is SBI, PNB, which is Punjab National Bank, etc. In India, okay. Okay. So you will write that there are there is only one central bank. There are numbers of commercial bank. In example, you will write RBI in India, and example State Bank of India, PNB, etc. In India.
completed. Okay, great. So basically, these are the few points. We'll quickly revise it. Okay, the first point is central bank is apex body. And what are the functions? It controls, operates, regulates, and directs the entire banking and monetary structure of the country. But commercial bank is the institution. The central bank is the apex body, but commercial bank is the institution. And what are the functions? Basically, it accepts, deposit, grant, loan, and make help in investment. Okay. Central bank is the apex institution in the money market, but commercial bank is the unit in the banking structure. And basically, it operates under the control of central bank. Ownership, central banks are basically governed and owned by the government, but commercial banks are owned and governed by the private sector as well as the government sector. It operate, like it, uh, the aim of a central bank is not profit maximization, but commercial bank aim is to maximize profit. It has the sole monopoly, like it has the power to issue money, but it has no power to issue money. It don't deal with, uh, like it does not deal with directly with the people or the public, but it deals directly with the public. There is only one central bank in the country. There are numbers of commercial bank in the country. Example is RBI in India and example over here is PNB or State Bank of India. Okay. So quickly give it a reading from your side and let me know if you have any issue in any of the points. Okay. Did you that State Bank of India is for which state? State Bank of India is generally for all the states. For all okay? states? Yeah. See, I'll just tell you one thing. For example, it is written Punjab National Bank. Okay. So Punjab National Bank is not only for Punjab. It is for everyone. It is written a national. So it means it is for everyone. Okay. For example, there is Bank of India. Okay. There is Baroda Bank. There is some private bank like Axis Bank. So it doesn't mean that they are for any particular state. They are for everyone. Okay. There is no bank which is for only one state or one country. It is for everyone. It is for all the states in India. State Bank of India, Punjab National Bank. It is for everyone. Okay. Every state. Okay. Yeah. Quickly give it a reading and let me know if you have any issue in any point. Okay. And when you are done, let me know. Completed. Okay, Halima, that's great. Okay, Halima, so you can just give it a reading in the next class. Uh, and today after the class, you will get assignment on this particular topic. 